Hey, I'm Tombi, and welcome to my first real pottery video. I'm gonna show you how I made this piggy bank based on Vigor Wasp Spray from Monster Hunter World, also known as Cat Dress Up Simulator. The first thing I'm gonna do is open up the game to take some references, because I couldn't really find any clear images online. But once I had the game pulled up, I could find the Vigor Wasp Spray item, and I found the model just sitting in the hub world, and I think that's pretty much all we need to get started. So let's do it. Since this is kind of an irregularly shaped pot, I'm going to be hand building this. This just means instead of using a motorized wheel, I'm going to be using this small hand powered wheel to make my pot. I'm going to start off by rolling out a really thin slab of clay so that I can cut it out and use it as the base. Now that I have the base cut out, I'm going to roll out some coils of clay, and then I'll lay them down onto the base. I'm going to use my finger now to just push down and join the coil and the base together, and then we'll smooth it out with our finger. We're going to repeat this process a few more times until we get the shape that we want for the head of our piggy bank. In the meantime, I just wanted to let you know that this is part of my series called Pottery to the Players, where I make pottery from and inspired by video games. So far, I've been making these videos for TikTok and YouTube shorts, and I'm really excited to finally have some proper YouTube videos on them. If you're enjoying this video, please remember to like and subscribe because I'm working on a lot of really cool things like more pottery, DIY projects, and art, and I can't wait to share them with you. Now it's time to make the ears. I'm going to start off with two balls that I'm going to roll out. And then I'm going to start to pinch them until they turn into these sort of cone shapes. So the ears are done now, but the clay is a little bit too soft still. So we're just going to cover it with a thin piece of plastic and we're going to come back the next day. Now the clay is a little bit stiffer, so it's time for us to attach the ears. Now that the ears are attached, I'm gonna use this cheese grater type thing to kind of take off some extra weight from the bottom of the pot. This is also gonna help add some of that rough rocky texture that the item has in the game. Afterwards, I'm just gonna add a foot ring to the bottom of the pot so that it isn't sitting flat on the table. I didn't really want to break this when it got full, so I decided to punch a hole out of the bottom which means I'll have to get a plug for this later. And it's time for the final decorations. We're gonna paint on the face. It almost looks like blood in game, and I don't have a color similar to that, so I'm gonna have to mix one up myself. And then we'll just get to painting. I'm using this flat metal tool to just kind of clean up the line work that I have. And that's it for the decorations. I'm going to take this to the kiln now to get it fired. Afterwards, it's a lot brighter in color. And then I bought these plugs from Amazon so that I can turn it into a proper piggy bank but it was a little bit hard to get into the hole, so I took some scissors and then cut around the edge to trim off any extra so that it would be easier to put in and take out. Wow. And that's pretty much it. I did this with clay that you had to fire in a kiln, but you could even make this yourself with air dry clay. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.